Emergencies happen. They can happen any time. Emergencies are happening more and more frequently, and they can happen by you. Are you prepared? In this video, we're going to show you our revised bug out bags. If you guys have been following us for a while, you might remember that last year we made a video, and I'll link it here, about our bug out bags. And that bug out bag wasn't really a complete bug out bag. It was just the stuff that our friend Uncle Al had sent us. What do you really need in a bug out bag? These bug out bags are designed to last 72 hours or more. And it is also very much of a survival bug out bag. And in this bug out bag, we have this many kits. A food kit, a hygiene kit, a water or drinking kit, a fire kit, a hunting for food kit, a light kit, a shelter kit, a first aid kit, comfort and or entertainment kit, clothing and miscellaneous, or other things that we thought we could need in a bug out situation. And be sure to stay tuned to the end for the ultimate prepper survival kit add-on and a preview of Trey's survival walking stick. For the clothes kit, the most important thing in here are the socks. So if you're walking along and you step on something and you're hurt, or you've got a cut and, it, and you're wet. Extra socks are very important because walking is really hard when your feet are cold. So pack extra socks. I've also got a bandana in here, sunglasses, and another, an extra mask just in case. Um, and one of these nets. The nets are, you can put it over your face if there's gnats, mosquitoes, bees. It's really, really good for protection. And then extra set of clothes, also really important. And I've got a hat for you know, keeping the sun out of your face. In the first aid kit, so first off, if you have any medications that you take on a usual basis, it's really important for you to have extra of those to put in your bug out bag. I just have aspirin because if you're hurt, it's a pretty good thing to keep out the pain. Keep down the pain. Um, I have some Tums, because just in case. It's also good to have some diarrhea pills in case you drink water that's bad. Antibacterial ointment, if you've got a cut, that's super good to make sure it doesn't get infected. Band-Aids, bandaging, all really important to put on your wounds in case you get hurt outside. And alcohol wipes. Alcohol wipes are also really important to clean a wound. Alcohol is a really great disinfectant, so that's definitely an important one. And the tourniquet. So a tourniquet is like a band, it is like a bandana. If you get a really bad wound and you need to stop the blood flow in there so that you don't bleed out, tourniquets are really good for that. You can just squeeze it so that it stops the blood flow, tie it around. Um, in the light kit, I've got a lantern with, and a headlight. Or we don't want to put the batteries in it just in case we decide to use it. And we don't want to run out of batteries, so we put the, keep the batteries separate. We've got all the batteries we need for our bug out bag in a separate bag just so that we only use them for emergencies. This is a light stick, which is um, a really easy way to get light. If you're out of battery in one of these, this doesn't take battery. It's just like a glow stick and you just break it, well, bend it. And it's kind of basically just like the light sticks you'll play with on the 4th of July. I don't know if you guys play with that, but I do. And then we have a button lamp. It might not seem like much, but it's really bright and also a very useful light. You could just like stick this on something, turn it on and you've got good light. So that's really important. I think it has a battery inside of it. So that's a really cool one, I think. So let's talk about the food kit. Here we have chicken salad and crackers, some assorted jerky, applesauce, peanuts, and these are all designed so that you can be on these for at least three days or more. Nut bars, more jerky, yogurt covered raisins, peanut butter, rice with chicken and vegetables. This makes for a good dinner. Chicken salad, long grain and wild rice, 
Spanish style rice, fruit leathers, Vienna sausages, and nut bar, and a nut bar, and your fork and spoon. And the nice thing about having a two gallon Ziploc bag is that you can use that to act, is that you can use that to fetch water. And we have different kinds of food for a reason because some are for carbs, some are more protein, some are your fruit, some make good breakfast, lunch, or dinner. Um, but we have a, a good quantity that'll last us for at least three days. So now we're moving on to the hygiene kit. And what's in here? We have hand warmers. Um, N95 masks, pads, um, shampoo, conditioner, um, and other toiletries. Compressed wet wipes, I think. Compressed wet wipes and a compressed towel. So this we picked up at Walmart and we just added things to it. We have the shampoo and conditioner and the hand sanitizer and the deodorant that came with it. And we added Lysol wipes, floss, a toothbrush, a comb, chapstick, and some other things that we thought would be helpful. And these are feminine pads. If you're a girl, these are going to be helpful. And it's, again, in another two gallon, which can also be used to fetch water and hold other things. Okay, so now for the shelter kit. Um, we have a construction grade garbage bag, um, some clear plastic that you can make into a roof. Uh, an emergency poncho and a blanket and these will all be really helpful for if you need to make a shelter and you don't have much resources. All right, so next up is the drink kit and we put it in a plastic thermos that's not going to break and inside it you have a filtration straw, some instant coffee, and I can't see what the rest is, some lemon flavoring for water, and this, which is something to help you rehydrate faster. So there's a few of these in there. And then again, there's a filtration straw. Next up, we have a fire kit. And in this, we have a magnifying glass, some waterproof matches, more waterproof matches, some normal matches. A compass is on here a magnesium rod and you strike it to make fire. You have some string here that you can use as tinder, a lighter, and this which you can use to blow on your fire to help it get bigger. And my lighter has electrical tape on it so that you can use electrical tape to mend a shelter or you can use it to make fire. There's a lot of uses for electrical tape and we just wrapped it around it. The next one is the hunting for food pack. And in it we have floss, but you can use it as a fishing line. We have a fishing kit, and you can, there's different kinds of bait in here and some line again, and hooks. And of a survival snare kit. So and next we have the comfort and entertainment kit. And in it we have card games, a pencil, a pen, and this, which is an all-weather notebook. It's waterproof. And now I'll let Trey finish the rest of the kit. Now in the miscellaneous items, we have these little containers. And in this one, I have safety pins. I have safety pins down here and blanket pins, which are pretty much the jumbo-sized um, safety pins in here and some scrunchies or hair ties because they may seem pretty small but these can be used for so many more things than you think and they're really easy to use so is that here i've got ziploc bags and oven bags this is an oven bag this is where the other ones are and oven bags are really nice you can put your food in them to put them in the oven and so they can actually get hot they're okay to get hot and I thought that was a genius idea because if you need to heat something up and you don't have a pot, then you can literally put your food or your water in your oven bag, put it over the fire. You can't put it in the fire, but you can put it like hanging over the fi fire. You can fill them with water 
or, or with snow, hang them over your fire, and then in the morning the snow will have melted and you'll have water. And that's, that's a really good, important thing to have because water is pretty much the second most important thing for humans to have. And in our third handy little container, we have zip ties. Zip ties are commonly used on homesteads, and our homestead, we, we love zip ties. And zip ties are super easy to use if you need to quickly hang something up or tie something. So we have little zip ties in here and big zip ties. And um, the little ones are just for basic use, and then the big ones are if you have something bigger. So zip ties are really important. Um, and these are steaks. Now our steaks are really, really light, barely weigh anything. Now, what do you use a steak for? Well, if you've got your tent or your shelter set up and you need to tie it down so that it doesn't blow away in some huge gust of wood, steaks are really important. You can stick them in the ground, tie your um, shelter with one of your ropes, tie it to the steaks, and they'll hold it down. So we've got four steaks because four corners of your shelter should be good enough. Now, um, over here, this is probably one of my favorite things in the bug out bag. It's just really cool. It's a stainless steel cup. So this could be used too. And so you can heat up your water in it because it's stainless steel. It can be heated and it's contractible. And so you have your cup for water and you can heat it up because it's stainless steel. It can be used like a pot. And then when you're done with it, put it back in your bag. So I think this is really cool because of how it contracts itself. So that's a really cool item. This is a can opener. We don't. I don't have anything in the bug out bag that could that needs to be opened with a that needs to be opened with a can opener. But it also doubles as a bottle opener and as a spoon. And you know you never know when you need a spoon. Spoons are cool. Next, I've got a giant spoon. I don't know why I have a giant spoon. You'd have to ask Uncle Al, but he said, get a giant spoon. You can use it for digging, you can use it for eating. It's a little bit hard, but you can still use it. And if anything else, you can smack someone with it. Dangerous with spoons. Now, if you use glasses on a daily basis, or if you need to look glasses to see, it is very important that you bring an extra pair of glasses in case the glasses that you wear break. Because if they break, then you can't see. So definitely bring an extra pair of glasses and keep them in your bag somewhere like by your socks, somewhere where they won't break easy. Or in something like this, that's a hard case that can't be broken. This is paracord and you can never have enough cordage. Like seriously, this can be used for so much stuff. You can use it to tie up your tent, tie it to the stakes. You can use it to tie up literally anything else. You could tie yourself to a tree if you're going to sleep in a tree. Um, you could use paracord, paracord for so much stuff. It's really important. And it comes with a carabiner on it. And I've got three other carabiners because you never know when you can use a carabiner. Also a super awesome thing to have in a bug out bag. Very important. Can be used for a lot of things. So. Just keep them together. Next is this. This is a crank radio. It, it does not require batteries, but it can, it can take batteries. But if you're out of batteries, it doesn't need a battery. It can be cranked. I don't know how much cranking it needs. So that uses up, it, and if you don't want to crank it because that, you know, takes a lot of arm power. It's also solar charged. You can recharge it using just the power of the sun, but on a cold snowy day or a rainy day, you can crank it. And it can also be charged with this little cord or charge phones. Um, you can charge your cell phone with us, and phones can be really helpful if you need to contact someone to get help. But this is also a radio. If you need to pay attention to what the weather is going to be like, or what news is going to go out, or anything else, this is important. So that you can stay updated on what you need to know. 
And then this, this is a survival kit that I actually bought off, well, we bought off the internet. So this came as a kit. I've already taken some of the stuff out of here and put it in the bug out bags, but it's got some really good stuff in it. This we added, it wasn't actually in there, but this is a medical grade scissor. So if you need to cut off one of your um, band-aids or clothing, because it's wet or something, you can use this to cut it off. This is a good scissor. I'll keep this somewhere else. An extra poncho. If it's raining, you do not want to get wet. I do not like getting wet at all. So ponchos are super important. I can't stand getting wet. Another flashlight, again. Make sure you pack extra batteries for your flashlights in case you run out of battery. Battery dies. This, it's called the tactical pen actually. Um, so you can write with it. Now this is a, well, it's kind of like a utility bracelet. You can wear it on your wrist. If you take it apart, this part here is extra cordage. Again, like I said, you can never have too much cordage. We've got tons of cordage throughout these kits. With more cordage, more cordage. We've got lots of cordage. Cordage is, like I said, really important. And then it's also got a compass on it so that you can tell what direction you're in. And then if you take it, if you open it, got a blade. You can like saw off a piece of wood for a fire or something. Um, it'll take a while but it, it will get it done. And it's better to be able to get it done in a long time than not get it done. This is for starting fires. Get an extra compass here. It's a really cool looking compass too. It's like one of those old-fashioned compasses that Captain America had. Really cool compass. Here you've got we had a big knife that you can use for cutting wood or protection if you need to. And then a whistle. If you need help, blow the whistle. If anyone hears your whistle, they will most likely know that you you need help because that's just like basic whistle use. So always bring a whistle. Whistles are really important. It's also probably a pretty good idea to have a signaling kit that's got a whistle and a mirror. Because with a mirror, if you point it at the sun right to reflect the light, you can um, flash SOS with Morse. Most people should know that. Here we've got another spoon. I told you, we've got like three spoons in here. Spoons are great. This, oh, it's a spork. So this also doubles as a whistle on the end and another knife. So this is like the ultimate utensil here. And a whistle. This is a saw. You hold one of the rings in each of your hands and you just go like back and forth with it. You hold each of the rings in your hands and you just go back and forth with it. And you can cut something with that. Like anything. This is a um a blanket. It's a pretty good blanket, too. It's fairly small and it'll fit in your bag really easily. But blankets are pretty important for cold nights. You don't want to be cold on cold nights. This is a um, multi-tool. And then it's got band-aids alcohol pads, and other things for first aid if you get hurt. Basic cuts, small stuff like that that you need to clean off. And that's uh, it for our bug out bag. If you think I missed something in my bug out bag, please let me know in the comments so that I can add it to our bug out bags, because anything helps. Now these backpacks, with all of the stuff that the three of us covered, is on the heavier side of ba bug out bags. So for Bunky, I think we're going to put our bug out, her bug out bag as in a backpack on wheels, like one of your luggage bags when you go to the airport and you don't want to carry all your stuff onto the airport. And I hope our bug out bag helps you. We will put all the information we can think of in the description below. And if you have any suggestions for this bug out bag or anything else, please put them in the comments. We will definitely add them. 
And if you're interested, Trey is going to be doing a video on her staff soon with the supplies that we got from Uncle Al at Die Ball Frog 79. Uncle Al, I know it's been a long time, like a few months since you sent me that box, but I will be including everything that you sent in your box in the video for this stick. So watch out for that. That video will be coming out soon and it's going to be awesome. I, as you can see, this staff is made out of PVC pipe and it is very Hold dangerous. Yeah. It comes apart and I already have all of the kits and stuff that will be contained on the inside. But I still have to paint it and then add some more stuff to it. And I'm going to spray paint it and then I'm going to add some more stuff on the outside. And it's going to be a really awesome build. So watch out for that video. It'll be coming out soon. And if you like this video, please be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell. And we'll continue putting out videos like this. And leave a like and a nice comment. We love comments. Mm -hmm. Until next time. Um, God bless. God bless. Bye. Bye.